Okay, everybody, welcome to the first edition of the Local to Global series. I'm starting here in TW 2020. Um, we're at public beta number 13, and I actually think the game's getting good enough that it's safe to start a Local to Global save that won't totally be borked by any future, you know, um, beta updates. I mean, obviously, if things get better, great. If they don't, you know, I actually like the game so far, so that's not the end of the world. Regardless, um, I have added one of the new skins. I'm totally blanking on the guy's name off the forms, but like if you're really still hating the uh, this how the UI is, hopefully first the actual updates like fix this. Um, but also like this is looking like real good to me. Like it, it gives the advantage. It has some colors, but it's dark enough and it, a lot of other good stuff. But anyway, on to the important stuff. What I'm actually doing. So. For those who don't know, the local global thing is basically starting a fed that has zero popularity, um, zero um, what's wrong? zero popularity, zero money. Um, it what used to be zero important, but that's gone now. And also, uh, I think it's zero momentum as well, which I'll have to edit because this I forgot to change that. Um, oh, and zero prestige. And so basically, the idea is start from the very bottom and eventually reach the global level. Now, this is different from the Road to Glory, which is about a wrestler. This is about a company. So, what I did was, because if you notice, if you look in the world section, and if you go down to Tasmania, it says, um, as a result, this is some distance, this is by some distance the hardest place for a wrestling company to exist in the entire game world, and is therefore somewhere only so you're really confident or totally statistic would attempt to use as a base. So, guess what? This is where I started. Um, basically, I decided why not. Like, worst case, this totally fails, and I have to start something someplace else, or I, you know, basically give a bailout to myself. But, um, so what I'm going to do next is go over a couple things as far as, like, what's going on with this company, and we'll finish out with the roster. I'm going um, roster member by roster member, and then I'll go over how I'm actually going to, like, release the, um, release what's actually happening in this game as it goes along. So let's start with the um, basics. So this is SLW, Southern Lights Wrestling, because I don't know if you don't know this, but Tasmania is where you can see a lot of the Aurora, I think it's Australis, but or like what pe people up here in Northern I'm sure call the Aurora Borealis, because it happens up in Alaska. The Southern version of that is called Aurora Australis, or the Southern Lights. So that's what I decided to name my company after. Um, this is evidence of my edit, this is editing skills. So, you know, what can you do? Um, so that's company. Size, as you know, is zero. So next size is tiny if we reach 17. Uh, our product is basically, I don't say the default, but basically what I could start with. So we're basically starting class balance, which means we need to be 80% matches and 20% angles. Uh, fans will be upset by dangerous, controversial, bloody match types. Matches less than 15 minutes and have caps. Matches that are overbooked will depend on this, they're really good. And the usual stuff that you'd expect. And we need at least one match that has storytelling and some storylines. Um, titles, no titles yet, which I'll explain for a reason wh re why. Right now, we're already in debt by 30 bucks. Um, I forget why. Oh, right. Production, running costs. Uh, let's see here. Roster, we'll go over in a second. Obviously, none of this stuff really matters. Um, actually, go over creative in a minute as well, and storylines. Um, drug testing, there's no damn drug testing. Um, backstage again, I'll go over at the end. Events, so the events I'm doing is basically it's SLW Saturday Wrestling every Saturday. Um, so basically this is the idea of, which I'll go over in a second, is my user character is basically setting up um, a big old, you know, a ring and a place for people to show up and watch some wrestling, just like in, in the old days, quote unquote. So that's what we're doing there. Um, broadcasting, coverage, owner goals, merch, we don't have any production. Obviously, we're at the very bottom, so we got limited productions, volunteers, amateur broadcast quality, small-time music, etc., etc. Um, ticket prices. So this is one thing I'm going to do, is basically, since I'm not drawing many people anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this to very cheap, because the one important thing is basically, um, What's what we're looking for? The important thing here is actually getting people out to the show. 
Um, so we'll go ahead and save that. And then house shows obviously pre-booking. No, I might actually add a pre-booking thing just in case. Uh, relationships doesn't matter. All this stuff doesn't really matter yet. Obviously tr investments, battles, all things don't really matter. But to basically go over things, let's go over the actual roster. So, oops, let's reset that so we can go over everybody in the roster. So from the top, we've got Armando Guerrero. Um, he's, even though he's originally from Mexico, he lives in Australia. Um, he's one of the more over people. Well, he's not over in Tasmania, but he's over in Australia. One important thing is like there's actually a decent amount of people who are like popular in Australia, Australia, but they're not popular on all in Tasmania, which is interesting. But anyway, um, he's a baby face. Um, he's a decent worker. Like, you know, I basically, when I search, I search for people who are not basically either you had to be charismatic or a good wrestler or hopefully both. Um, right now, also, he's the head trainer at the Australia Dojo for the WWA. Black Flash is sort of our beginning star. Um, he was hired by Raw and he was let go in 2014. Um, and now, you know, he's basically a, a mass baby face. So there you go. Um, he's not great microphone wise or charisma, but he's, you know, he's a flippy dude. You know, he's a technical flyer. Um, Blaze Maximum is a heel. He's basically your like Bugsy McGaw, McGraw type of character. Um, and again, he's pretty decent in the ring. He's charismatic. And, you know, that's the important part, and he's actually pretty popular. So he'll probably be, like, one of our lead heels. Uh, Bradley Regan is our ref. He can count to three. Good for him. Uh, Siri Dorovich, whose name I might change to just her name, is basically she's, um... She basically, her gimmick is she came third in the 2015 series of the TV show The Great Australian Bake Challenge. So basically, she's your, like even a lower tier Johnny Fairplay, who's now res wrestling, you know, independent wrestling, and, you know, I have her set to abuse a spoiled celebrity gimmick. Oh yeah, let me go over the gimmicks. So Blaze Maximin is Higher Energy ma Maniac, uh, Mysterious, and Mexican Patriot. Now these I haven't changed because they're solid. Um, next up is Dazzler, who's working in a Camp Hill gimmick. And again, he's has pretty, um, like he's pretty charismatic, doesn't have much of a star quality, but he's not terrible in, in, in the ring, you know? Um, but y yeah, he'll be a camp heel. Uh, Francis Burke is, like it says in his bio, is a bland worker, but he's good in the ring. And, you know, and he'll be playing, uh, debuting a surfer dude gimmick, which will come up later as far as a team. Uh, Hack the Hunter is basically, he's a big brawler. Um, and he's fairly young, being only 21, even though his render does not look that young. Um, he works babyface, he has a man's man gimmick, and basically, yeah, he'll be one of the, like, the young guys I'll be ho hopefully building around eventually. We've got H Hank Greer, who's another young guy. He has a uh, pretty decent star quality, um, and not terrible in the ring. Uh, hopefully he'll become charismatic, more charismatic, and his have a hell of a next generation gimmick coming up. Next up we've got Jesse Tasman, who will be working as a babyface, um, who also has a uh, surfer do gimmick, and he's fairly decent in the ring, and he's a natural babyface, and he's a good good star quality. Jonathan Wesker, um, he's a heel, his name is Muscle Bomber, he's not great in the ring as you can see, um, his psych is pretty decent. I mean, not his psych, sorry. His, but his star quality is pretty decent, and he's a good menace. So he'll be working a Narcissus gimmick. Uh, Keith Cole is our road agent. He'll be agenting roads, or roading agents. Uh, Lance Lott is, uh, basically, he's another, he'll be our heel version of, um, Francis Burke, who's not, a, like, charismatic but he's good in the ring so he'll probably be doing a lot of jobbing uh lone rider is uh basically an outback cow cow cowboy gimmick who's the son of a former wrestler um but who's actually not 
that great, but who might either he'll grow to be something more or he'll be out sooner, but he's available and I can at least try him. Uh, Merv is our announcer. There you go. Uh, Mortimer Pyle is a pretty decent worker. He's um, he's been he used to work for Raw, but he got re no he got yeah then he got released. Um, and his gimmick is Ultimate Gecko, which is a weird enough that I just kept it. Um, he's pretty solid. Like he's not. This is sort of a case of a guy who's like basically using like yeah he has a grifter, so he's better as a heel. And he's sort of like using his little fame to get him over as he can. Uh, we've got. Reggie Hammer, who I'm doing as a young gun gimmick, who has some hope, who could hopefully, hopefully, like, uh, rise into a decent worker. We've got Rob Edwards, who's a former MMA fighter, so I have him working as a MMA douche gimmick, because why not? Um, again, he has solid menace, good star quality, and all the other fun stuff. Uh, we have Surfer Dude Lucas, who also is a, has a Surfer Dude gimmick. If you notice, we have three different Surfer Dude gimmicks. That's because I'm going to change one of them after this, because I thought we only had two, so time to f change that. But that is kind of Australia. You have three different surfer uh, But he's solid, so, you know, he'll be around. Uh, we'll have the Kipper, who basically he... Um, again, he's actually fairly over, because he, he had TV time on Raw. He's getting older, but he can be sort of a guy who can be... Um, a quote-unquote star, at least for a company that has virtually no popularity. Um, and he has good experience. He's okay. Like, he's okay. He's basically... He's not terrible, terrible, but he's not great either. Um, then we have Wesley Finch, which is my user character, which is... Yeah. Because I didn't want to like, use my name because that's on name Tasmania. I So I just looked up the name of... Uh, the last name of some of the, like members of like the Tasmanian Parliament and use the last name one of those and then use a random first name. Um, so actually let me go and find yeah Francis sorry you don't get a surfer dude gimmick because you're really just a random dude. Um, what do you do well again? Okay so let's adjust your gimmick. Again like I really like this change to the gimmick. Um, Let's just change this to, actually, let me get some inspiration. We're looking at, oh, they don't have to include any. Uh, let me just include any basis. Mm, OK. Yeah, we can just do a standard issue. Wrestler is wrestler. He's a dude who wrestles. There you go. Okay, that fixed. Um. So yeah, that's it for now. Like I said, so what's going to happen is oh, let me just go over the rest of the stuff. So teams, no teams yet. Um. And let's just pull up a storyline. So the only storyline I've done because I have to have one. Basically, I put my four top guys into a storyline together. I'll add more if needed. Uh, our backstage is not bad. Uh, Wesker and Hank Greer are the only really bad ones. The only thing I'm not allowing so much is no drugs. Because again, this is a random indie fed. They can't really have any rules. Then if we look at creative, no franchise players, no best things, no hot prospects. Surfer Dude Lucas, Blaze Maximum, and Siri can talk. Uh, no showstoppers, no ring generals, nobody's hot, nobody's not. And yeah, these are some hidden gems. They're probably way out of my like price range. Um, so I think that's yeah. And oh yeah, the, like I said, events for TV. This is going to be every week. So basically, what's going to happen is um, what will happen is after this initial uh, video, what will happen is basically there will be monthly videos, and the monthly videos will go over each of the shows, each of the weekly shows, and of course anything else interesting or weird that happens, um, any changes, any signings, etc., etc. 
um, and then any you know updates on how things are going. So that's all for now. Hope you you know follow along as this hopefully becomes one of the largest you know companies in the world. You know by the end of this game. Um, so go ahead and give a like, comment below, subscribe to the channel, and that's all for now. So talk to you later.